Hey YouTube, hey, just set up the old military command post, 11 feet by 11 feet. And there's a front wall, which I have right here, which has an, an entrance, like a little vestibule on it, like a small vestibule. I just wanted to show everybody what this looks like. There aren't very many good videos on YouTube about these, for unknown reasons. So what it is, is they come with a, a blank wall and then two walls that have a window. And you can um, put them in whatever sort of combination you want. There's a ventilation duct on each end. Some of these tents have duct work on the flat walls for air conditioning units, but this one uh, does not have it on the flat walls. There's a uh, stove jack uh, lid in the top for putting in a wood burning or fuel burning stove uh, with a chimney that goes through this hole. See? Um, frames metal, but you need to stake it out, the, the frame, so it doesn't wobble in strong winds. Uh, these are removable liners. So it's a black wall underneath and then the cotton liner which helps for illumination from like if you have a lantern or just the brightness of it is more um, appealing than the black walls. These windows are covered on the inside with a uh, clear vinyl to keep the wind out or you can run with a mesh. And then the outside has a fold down uh, Velcro attached or rather Velcro secured window. See, I've got it rolled up right now. You untie these, they roll down, they stick to this Velcro here and here and here to make it uh, light and windproof. Now you may be wondering what are all these clips for? There's clips all the way around the side. It's so you can unclip the corners and roll up the sides and secure them with these uh, Fastex buckles. So you can roll up this side you roll up this side, see? Um, and these walls are removable. So if you just want just the top on it, like if you're at a, uh, you know, like a flea market or something and don't want sides on it, you can run with just the top. The frame is highly adjustable. It's made for uneven terrain. They have a, a little um, pull pin it's got like a little circlip holding it so it doesn't pull all the way out. You kind of pull it out like, you know, half an inch and then you can adjust it the length. You know you've gotten to the maximum height when you reach a certain level where it's a, um, a fitted piece inside. You can see where I can rotate this all the way around. But at the lower numbers, it's just an actual notch. So it's like you put it here, you put it here, you put it here, you put it here. You get to this spot where it goes completely all the way around and that's the maximum height this is the factory floor a lot of these when you buy them surplus they don't have the factory floor and they may have the the cloth walls but they'll be filthy and these are really nice almost look like they're new there is some uh dirt that's splashed on it either when they were folding it or when it was in the storage bags but this tent looks um, largely uh, brand new or almost brand new uh, these windows uh, unclip and this fabric rolls across and secures this velcro on the top and along the sides it's an awesome looking tent and we know from experience using these at a deer lease that you can fit a wood burning stove and a cot here and a cot here. Or in some cases, we'll do a bunk, a bunk bed so then we can have a table. All right, I'm gonna put uh, the end piece on it real quick and show you all what that looks like in this video. You can see that the fabric is real uh, supple and in some ways shiny. The ropes are not uh, weather beaten. They're like a shiny, uh, like a nice rope. 
they've got these uh, factory uh, tensioners on them. The tent also comes with uh, two big storage bags and comes with a rain gutter, which we've never used, but it's new and included. Uh, it comes with a pole bag, which we have over here. The pole bag has instructions on it, how to assemble the tent. Uh, one more thing of note I want to mention on this particular tent that I have for sale on eBay is while the fabric is virtually new, um, and it has a like new kind of vinyl-y canvas smell, uh, this particular frame had some issues where, see these little uh, levers that tighten, which I know from experience these levers have a tendency to untighten on their own. Uh, some of them have been broken off. So, like, this is what the levers look like. This one's a broken one. This one's a broken one. This one is a broken one. And the centerpiece is, like, whoever, either they broke them on purpose or they sheared out, but they are, they're broken. They will be included, but they're broken. So... Also, to Camel Manufacturing, who makes these tents, um, they have like a zinc um, bolt here, and I replaced the broken or bent ones with these grade 8 bolts uh, from Tractor Supply, which are super strong, and with a washer and a lock nut, wherever those levers were broken. So, this lever's intact, this lever's intact, this lever was broken, and I replaced it with a grade 8 bolt. So use a 9 16 inch socket, you loosen it up, it folds. You tighten it up, it tightens. It doesn't affect the performance or the function of the tent. If anything, I think it makes it more rigid. So here, um, this lever was broken, I replaced it. Up here, there's a lever in place, those other two levers were broken, I replaced them. This lever was broken, I replaced it. This lever broken, this lever broken, this bro lever broken, I replaced it with the bolts. Now, I'll tell you, it's my opinion to just replace every single lever with these bolts, because these bolts are not gonna break, these bolts are not gonna bend. But the bolts are expensive, they're like a dollar a piece, so. But I've replaced most of them. So up here, every single lever is in place, all three of them. Over here, it's been replaced. Yeah, in the top middle, they've been replaced. You can tell there's not any glaring holes in the screen. It's in really, really good shape. Anyway, let's put the end wall on real quick and you can see it. All right, so I've got the front entrance in. Put this up on the uh, on the brick patio so as not to kill the grass in the backyard. So it's sort of uh, tied together, you know, to these uh, posts in our porch. The deal on this is there's a flap here. It goes over here, Velcro. And then you take this and you uh, Velcro it across. So that's a weatherproof seal. And you walk into this little mud room and into the tent. And in the tent, there's another door that unrolls from here to here. And then another flap that unrolls on top of it and Velcros. And there's clips in place to hold this in place. For the uh, liner, it's got a roll away wall that clips here and here and down here. All the clips are intact on this tent. There's no broken clips. As far as the liner goes, 
there's really only two kinds of liner pieces. One called a window wall piece. This is a window wall piece. This is a window wall piece. This is a window wall piece. And the way they roll back, you can see, also doubles for the entrance way. So, if you have any questions, you know, please shoot them to me. Uh, these are great tents, and they're beefy, and you gotta love the clip-in floor, which this floor was brand new. You can see the creases on it, so it'll lay out flat over time. I don't want it to lay too flat because I want to be able to fold it up for you. And I was doing some thinking about the rain gutter here. And I think the way the rain gutter works is, is it's 11 feet long. See what it says, rain gutter green. I think the uh, opinion on the rain gutter is if you wanted to roll up a side, just one, and it's raining, then you can install the rain gutter along the length of it. And, um, you know, at least help divert the water away from the tent if you have it in that open area. But I've never used it before on any of these other ones I've had of these, but it's brand new, it's shiny, the bags are worn. On a scale of one to 10, I'd give this ten, a nine and a half. I'd give the frame uh, from a soundness level a 10. But like I said, I replaced some of those broken levers with uh, grade eight uh, bolts that you'll need to use a nine sixteenths inch wrench to tighten and unloosen. You may be wondering what the foil on the tree is for, and that is to keep the uh, leaf cutters out. These little tiny ants that um, eat leaves, and um, they chew them up, and they take them, and they build a nest out of them. I just must have forgotten these clips right here, but they're fine. <laughs> it's hard to do one-handed. I do want to add one more thing, and that is um, this very front does roll back and has clips in place so you can clip it out of the way so it's not flapping around in your face. And what I mentioned earlier about those ventilation ducts is some of these command post tents have those big circular holes in them uh, for putting in the uh, air conditioning, the military air conditioning, but it's been my experience that you know, an average citizen doesn't have those, that type of air conditioning unit. And um, when you try to tie off those uh, big holes, they uh, leak. But this particular tent uh, does not have those, which makes it, gives it a real clean trim look. to get 10 stakes uh, six of the short ones and uh four of the long ones of course the gutter the two bags tent main tent bags and uh the pole bag you can try and buy these in a government auction and uh play russian roulette uh with the fabric and um the components and the clips and the cleanliness of the liners and um you know, you might get a better deal, and then again, you may get screwed. But this one's a good one. Here's another vantage point uh, from the roof, what this thing looks like. 